Today is Monday, January 22nd. We had some rain this morning. There's some water in the um, trenches, utility trenches of the Aptos Village Project Granite. This is beginning on the um, Cathedral Drive side. I'll just quickly document water levels. A ladder. Number three is filled in. Number four is completely inundated with water all around. Number five, also inundated. Number six, pretty much filled in. Number seven, water. This is about where the illegal water connection had been earlier. I was supplying water for dust control throughout the project. Number eight, filled with water. And the final one, filled with water. And you can see the road. I do hear a generator. This is Granite Way, Tuesday morning, January 23rd. The road seems full. They're all backed up. Let's just see if they've pumped out these. This is the one I want to video. Hold on a second. You know, I'm just going to video it this. Matter. I'm going to back up. I'm going to back up. I just wanted to see that you pumped this trench this morning. Thanks. That's Hold it. on. Please back up. You're blocking traffic. Okay. I sure will. Thank you. This is just showing the slurry that goes across to the development and the water connections and um, the service connection for this household where the illegal connection was. Now, uh, there were, I didn't hear somewhere, two or three This is things. January 27th, 2018. There were two or three things right here that we're on the water line which, which comes down through here somewhere now at one time they had it marked out you know, so you could tell right. where it was but now it's obliterated yeah but anyway ron duncan writes that that was a legitimate connection that the meter was removed. Well, there are no meters over there. No. They're all over here. Yeah. On that side of the street. Correct. 
I think this is interesting that they're draining all this uh, sediment here down to somewhere within. See the pipe? What pipe? It's a drain pipe. So they're draining all of this construction and sediment somewhere into the project. And uh, they do have drains now that go directly. Well, in this area, it would go to Trout Creek. That's not legal. No erosion control measures here. At the corner of Granite Way and Village Drive. The fence. They have. This is looking down at Aptos Creek Road and the soil that has been moved. And a breach in the fence, which allows vandals, potential vandals, to enter. Unprotected soil during winter months. No winter grading permit. And a tremendous amount of surface drainage here. The stormwater drainage at this site has been removed and now a pipe just runs the stormwater to an unknown location in the project. And again, this is the site of the um, underground storage tank, diesel tank, that was never remediated. Yeah, they got her all set up to where they ha hold a public meet. This is Granite Way, where there are vehicles parked on both sides of the street. And um, even though there is a garage with a place to park, the residents are parking on the street. This is Pete Testorf's new homes. This is Saturday, January 26th in the afternoon. This is Valencia Road that was closed in the storms last year, closing Valencia Road and causing relocation of, of Valencia Elementary School students to various places around the county. There was a temporary bridge put in. That temporary bridge has been removed and now it's reduced to one lane traffic and um, temporary traffic lights. This is the intersection of Aptos School Road and Valencia. Looking over the creek side. And I'm wondering if I'm going to get to go <laughs> or how I'll get to go. This is looking up Valencia Road at the entrance to Rolling Green Estates. This must be really interesting when Valencia School, elementary school, is in session. And it got a green light. The temporary bridge is gone.
Today's Monday, January 29th. It's about um, 11 o'clock. This is Cathedral Drive. Work occurring on Cathedral Drive by Barry Swenson Builder. Without any encroachment permits. Traffic control. Happy to see they removed the curb. Everybody was hitting and high centering their cars on. SoCal Drive. Heading under the trestle. Still under construction here. here. The project was due to be uh, to be completed in December. Here we are near the end of January and they're still working. Trout Gulch turning on to Cathedral at the post office. Hmm. Barry Swenson Builder doing work. Mr. Padgett, County Inspector, making sure everything is just fine. Monday, March 29th, it's about 2.30. license plate there. Yeah, they're putting in electrical boxes. And that's as far as they're going to go. They got the striping done here today. Or some anyway. I'm really curious to see what it's going to look like coming up from Soquel Drive there where they have the illegal bus stop and turn lane for Bay Fed and <laughs> how's it all going to fit? I want to know that. Well, 
So this, this is the traffic on Spreckles Drive coming up to Soquel Drive at the Aptos Creek Bridge. It's about uh, 7.55 a.m. Substantial traffic. So I've waited through about three cycles of lights and traffic is backed up way behind me. Each cycle only lets about two or three cars go. And here we are with the morning commute on Soquel Drive through Aptos Village. This will be like when the lights kick in. Here's Trout Gold Check Cathedral. Pretty light traffic this morning. Can they do all this work without an encroachment permit? <laughs> 